So it's around 6, 12 a.m. here in the morning on the Johnson Ranch. And I'm up early because today it's a special day. It's my brother's birthday. It's time to cook and my seasonings for the day are lemon and pepper, Italian seasoning, paprika, and Old Bay. Black pepper, oh yeah, can't forget the black pepper. Some oven bags. Here are my honey gold bite-sized potatoes. I have a large onion, some minced garlic, two sticks of unsalted butter, and you see these corn? Oh, I grew those here on the Johnson Ranch. We have some snow crab legs, some Roger Wood sausage, and some shrimp. It's time to put this all together because it's my brother's birthday and this is his birthday meal. So these sweet southern corn were grown here on the Johnson Ranch. Oh, I'm so appreciative for my mom showing me how to plant a garden and we are grateful for our abundant harvest. You see the you see these sweet southern corn. Ah. Uh, thank you God for our harvest. Next up, dice up your sausages. And remember, you can substitute Roger Wood for turkey sausage if needed. In a large pot, boil your corn, eggs, and potatoes for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, drain and set aside. Make sure to peel those eggs. I am Katrina. And this is The Prices Pearl Life. It's a lifestyle channel where I share my love of home decor, cooking, vlogs, and shopping hauls. These are things that interest you. You already know what to do. Go ahead, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell twice so you never miss an upload of The Priceless Pearl Life. I added about two tablespoons of olive oil and sauteed my sausage for about two to three minutes. Remove from the pan and let's go to the next step. So saute your onions for about two to three minutes until translucent and then add your garlic. Now the recipe calls about for two tablespoons, but if you like garlic like we do, then add a little extra. Next, I'm adding my two pats of, oh, my two sticks of unsalted butter. Allow this to melt slowly next add one cup of chicken broth and i'm using low sodium chicken broth next up add your dry seasonings and mix please remember the full recipe will be in the description box below Because we like it spicy, we're adding some hot sauce. I'm using the oven bag method. So I'm using a large pot to make it easier to add all of my ingredients into this bag. And to make sure I'm not making a mess, 
I'm double bagging all of the contents. When I tell you this sauce is legit, it's money, it's fire, it makes me want to sing. Oh, this thing is so good. Try this recipe and come back and tell me how crazy your family went over it. Just, I'm waiting for you. I, I'm waiting for you to tell me what you think. Next up, make sure to mix, shake, do whatever you have to do to make sure that all of the ingredients have that sauce on it. Tie your bag up, place it in a baking dish at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. It's going in the oven and after 20 minutes, you'll be ready to dig in. So some days, a meal is just a meal. And on other days, like today, a meal is a celebration. I'm so excited to be here to share in another year, my brother's birthday. I'm grateful to God that he allowed my mom and I both to be here to celebrate my one and only brother. So, um, I know he's working today, so hopefully by the time that this video is premiering, we would have already devoured this meal. I've been up so early this morning because I also baked a cake. much for stopping by the Price's Pearl Life Kitchen for another great recipe. I look forward to seeing you on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my video upload days. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, both at the Price's Pearl Life. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and remember, you are absolutely priceless. I already look forward to seeing you on my next video.